Uh, military map mode, not particularly exciting right now, but it does I don't think it'll ever be uh, exciting, mate. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome. As of when this video is being released, Victoria 3 is coming out in a month, so I think this is the perfect time to get some really fun and enjoyable Victoria 3 related content up on my channel. Basically this is going to be a nice condensed version of the stream we had, where Paradox announced the release date of Victoria 3 and showed their first ever gameplay of it. And of course had the great pizza scandal. The live reaction and discussion stream was very enjoyable to do. Myself and the special guests that I brought on made some very good points about Victoria 3 and just had a lot of fun, so I want to bring it to the wider audience of my main channel in a condensed version, focusing on all the best bits, the most important bits, the most funny bits, and the best discussions we had regarding Victoria 3. Most of the real detailed points we make about Victoria 3 are towards the end in the final section where we do an overview of everything we saw on their stream. Being able to edit this whole thing is really good because I can put up illustrations and examples of things we're talking about. I welcome robust discussion in the comments for this video. There are quite a few people among my own subscribers who disagree with me on this and that's fine, you're welcome to raise those disagreements, but whenever my critiques of Victoria 3 get posted on Reddit or something it's usually just absolute vitriolic hate, lies and no actual addressing of any of the real points I make. So I'm really looking forward to all the hatred on behalf of your favourite multi-million dollar corporation 9.12% owned by Tencent against a rather small YouTuber trying to give them some scrutiny. Keep that coming, it feeds me. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Alright then everyone. We have a big Victoria 3 stream today. I know, it's uh, it's Victoria 3, mixed feelings, but I think it's very important for my channel to cover this game to give you the real opinions, the real banter, the, the real takes, and a little tiny single opposing voice to the mass of Redditors slobbering all over this game. We're gonna provide a little tiny counterbalance to everything. The first real gameplay live from Paradox, never mind the leak. One thing we'll be looking out for, have the Paradox people who are doing Ace! their Ace! stuff on their stream, doing all the commentary, have they researched basic chemistry? That's what we need to look out for. I remember back to when we did the legendary stream of when they announced the game, the journey that this has all been since then, through the Dev Diary discussions, through the drama, through the leak, all the way until now, it's all been fun and interesting, but I was never surprised by ultimately learning about the disappointing things about Victoria 3. There's always been the Doomer element of the Victoria 2 multiplayer community who said basically if they ever do make a Victoria 3 it's going to be dumbed down, different, that's what people said. In some senses they were right, especially about the warfare. Uh, we've been discussing endlessly since they did that infamous Dev Dari announcing the warfare system. We've been criticizing and talking about the direction that they're taking. My opinions about that haven't really changed. They are going with and they're implementing exactly what they said they would implement. So nothing is changing. We can always, you know, we can keep talking about it. Uh, someone asked me, I get your complaints. Why do you think the game won't be fun even if it's a warfare? Because I play the game mainly for multiplayer and the multiplayer is dependent on the war system being decent and being a good framework, a good sandbox for diplomacy and real people skills, basically. I don't know too much about the economy system in Victoria 3. Those aren't my areas of discussion and expertise. I'm willing to allow that that might be good, I don't know. I'm not going to judge that completely until I play it, but my opinions on the, the war system, that won't be changed after actually playing the game. The opinions of people who have leaked it are, you know, consistent with that as well. Oh, look, look who it is. It's the best Danish map gamer. Hello. What's up? When the leak was happening, one of the biggest points of contention was this is unfinished, they're going to fix all this shit. There's no mm. more excuses like that after they show their gameplay today. Yeah, not that far away. They'll probably just be doing bug fixes and uh, tidying it up for release at that point. Anyway, it's 3 o'clock. What, is Paradox late? You only get streams starting on time right here on Spodgun Official. Paradox's chat is just a bunch of Zeds and Russians. Jesus, how could it? Oh my god. October 25th on Steam. Oh, did just put it on Steam? I can actually check that right now. The release date has been given on um, Steam before Paradox could announce it. Why did Paradox keep getting the wind taken out of their sails constantly? <laughs> did they ever get to announce anything themselves? Okay, what's oh, now this? It's actually starting. Is okay, this a trailer or some shit? Okay. The biggest wrong thing that I've said about the game is that the game looked dark when I said that on the leak video, but it is, re it is actually bright and vibrant. Yeah, it is bright. The political man zoomed out is bright, which I am in favour of. Hello! Here they are. I'm sitting here today with you on this grand uh, day, together with uh, Martin, aka Wiss, game director of Victoria 3. And here we have Mikael, aka Lecek on the forums, uh, the lead designer for Victoria 3. And today we bring you the grand premiere of uh, Vicky 3 on stream. Okay, so here we are in the lobby. 
should be pretty familiar to anyone who's played uh, pretty much any hello, hello. Ground strategy game. Oh, we have hi, Chucker. Hello. Yeah. Okay, how, do, how different is it from the league? Oh, they fixed the, the bug with the, so the money. The it actually shows the amount of treasure you have now. That's a new thing. They have taxation capacity now. That was a dev there about that, so that's a new thing. The map looks all right zoomed out. Uh, right. That's where it zoomed out. Looks a bit yeah. Sorry, Americans, but that is how you write a date. Now, right. I'm actually noticing, I, yeah. I said one thing about my leak video was wrong about the, the game looking dark, I was wrong about that, however, it is looking, I don't know what resolution they've got, but it is looking big and clunky. This is a full screen 1080p window, that's looking pretty clunky, the menus are taking up half the screen. There is UI scaling. Whatever they've set it as is how they want to present it to us, this is the first gameplay, it's got to look good. Whatever they're showing us has to be taken at face value for a, a, a good representation of the game. It seems like you're not really supposed to look at the map all that much, you're only supposed to like go around menus. Inform me on what their pre-order bonuses actually are, just out of curiosity. I'll have, I'll have a look, I'll have a look. Yeah, but you can lop this, the pre-order bonus is Victoria 2 Remark. That song. That's a one of the pre-order bonuses. Yeah, really, yes, really. really. Yeah. Yeah. If you pre-order the grand edition, you get Victoria Three Expansion One, uh, Two. Oh, uh, I'm no. sorry, One Emission Pack, a Radio Pack, and American Buildings Pack. Oh, which is a day one. Jesus! So you're getting one expansion. They're already obviously. We knew DLC was coming, but they are officially paving the way for it with the stupid fucking. Remember Imperator Rome. You still have to like manually open the trade route, but yeah, it's very different from the leak because you actually it's like semi-automatic now. Seems like they kind of sort of fixed it. Those flags, that that flags thing is not there in the leak either. That map mode thing there is basically where I got the idea that the game looked too dark, but in the normal political map mode, it's fine. Uh, military map mode, not particularly exciting right now, but it does I don't think it'll ever be uh, exciting, mate. <laughs> that's basically <laughs> the equivalent of sphere map mode right there. Uh, yeah, that's like the species of sphere map mode, the market's like this. Well, Paradox chat's giving them quite a lot of stuff. Like, uh, $80, $80, no wars. <laughs> Paradox chat is full of pro-Russians, can't even moderate their stream. Is this true? Yes, we were starting to suck up to France. I can't see. So to clarify to chat, like, there's so much to go through, we cannot explain all <laughs> all the things he's clarifying to the chat immediately so we're gonna have to take it a little bit step by step here so he directly addressed their chat what is he fucking st yeah. start talking about we'll russia and ukraine that. what else are they talking about in that chat <laughs> So, and, so there's a question about what the pre-order bonus is. oh here like we go listen carefully is. if it's a, if it's in-game music yes it is in fact in-game music uh, and it's also awesome. construction efficiency uh, makes sense how they the can build something in Holland easier than they can build something in Guyana that makes are, sense uh, the UI the scaling they've got might be so optimal or bad but this is what they are presenting as the first gameplay ever it's so people in the chat say they want to see war like EU4 mm. war, example, war, yeah, war. A, a bank. I do want to see war because I want to see like Belgium change. now. You don't build this stuff up. In the meta and the leak was to build a lot of construction industry mainly. Hey, someone, someone uh, print screen that. What did that show from the Paradox PC? There's uh, one proud Bavarian DM. Construction sector. Right. So speaking of Russian Z spammers in the chat, here is Mr. Bolton. Hello. Hello. I got that this game is gonna be uh, Slarish so too, they, they, they and it pretty much was. Do we have any real problem areas in our country? Belgium is That's a problem like a area in the country. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Belgium yeah, is you your know, problem area. Really yes. He's about. making money while yeah. building stuff, right? Uh, in the yeah, league, exactly. you usually lose money rate. when so you build stuff. It's like a small, medium country. So that was a skill issue. They have, uh, They're just playing the game better than you. Yeah, but we can't make it. I could just be shared victory economy, to be honest. Yeah. Are the paradox chat spamming Zeds from Russia, or is it because they're sleeping? So I think let's try for the customs union, mm -hmm. and if that doesn't They're work, not even invading we'll North Borneo, they're gonna fucking well, start well, by sphering um, Borneo. Chat is gonna be very disappointed. They could do that basically for free too, because unrecognized. <laughs> 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 yeah, but honestly, that's fine. They can <laughs> sphere Brunei, <laughs> they can sphere that and then attack yeah. Belgium, that's fine. But we cannot get all the iron we need through trade, yeah. we are going to get the iron we need through alternative trade. Yes. The chat uh, has made it very clear what uh, they want, but we aren't here just to wage war. Uh, Fascinating. In and they oh, want to go into the defensive <laughs> And they're actually sweetening the deal. So they're saying... We have three brigades, just kill them. Oh my god. This could aid us in our diplomatic <laughs> plan. <laughs> Brunei. <laughs> wow. War is part of the game, but it's not yes. the main... Even three... We're probably going to be beating someone up. I'm sure there will be a war before the end of the stream, but not exactly right now. Yeah. 
But yeah. Bocone would absolutely despise this. This is watching paint dry. Yes. This isn't. This is twenty to thirty minutes of nothing. It's an early access. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll fix it. Okay. In, we'll fix it in post release. Yeah. Um, what are they talking about? Fair, What's, but we only have that one colony, broken? but it's still they, growing. I think so they just said that that state wasn't area. supposed to have malaria. I want to see the game crash. I don't want to be a. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying here, <laughs> <laughs> hoping everything well, goes horribly, and I'm, they're saying the shit. I just they, think they, it would be quite funny if their game crashed. And they forgot to have monthly autosaves turned on. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> now, to be real here, when a lot of players first get the game and play it, they are going to go on a war spree from day one. Low attention span, try and go to war and paint the map. They're trying to showcase building up your country before you go to war, which is actually fine. Let's see what his question is. Do natives need to westernize before they can do anything of importance like Vicky 2? I know I think we're not talking about natives here. Uh, because decentralized powers, in this case, cannot... Uh, this must be really hard for them. They're, they're unveiling Victoria 3. People in the chat are spamming for war and still calling people natives and not unrecognized. They have a lot of uh, work to do to get people to come around to their uh, way of I mean, The thing is, like, China was really opening the leak. I wonder if they actually changed, like, was able to know them. <laughs> they didn't implement the opium bullshit in the leak. They also implemented taxation capacity now, and that's supposedly what's going to hamper them. Oh, an event? Ashkin, oh my god, yeah. just when things couldn't get any more controversial. Um, <laughs> That's what Ashkenazi people look like, apparently, that, in that fucking image. What oh the hell? Oh my god. Um, should school teach them to speak the proper language? Oh boy. Or is that language part of their heritage? I wonder what option they're gonna pick. <laughs> we are going to get some radical Ashkenazi pops if we chose, uh, if we choose that. Uh, and we will get increased assimilation. But also more radicals from Paradox chat must be going insane. No, they're just still spamming war. <laughs> it's falling apart of one of it. Mercantilism <laughs> and trying to industrialize the Netherlands is not gonna play super nicely no. together. This is huge. This is like the fucking the Dutch Dreyfus affair in 1836. They were looking behind the stream at the fucking developers. This event was supposed to be turned off to the stream. They are the developers. evangelical church. <laughs> well, just in time so, for the war, we got yes, some pizza. Uh, we'll be getting we pizza. pizza. Which means oh, those bastards. They're tempting me to have a pizza. So yeah, do you want to take a pizza? Like, we have ham pizza, we have pepperoni pizza, it seems like. All oh. Right. Lunch break. I don't know if either of you are vegetarians. Yeah. I am. So You're a vegetarian. Yeah. We have ham pizza, we have pepperoni pizza, it seems like. All oh. Right. Me, which one looks more vegetarian to He's you? Good. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we're going to be playing this game at all. Not a non -meat. Are they going to be having the pizza yeah, while playing, it's like or are they going to have a break? Non -meat. Like that's a ham one, though, so that's for sure. I mean, they could just swap. Yes. Like, because now there's only yeah. one person playing. I don't know. Swap I, I can guys. taste one. Yeah. So you know if, I, if I can make you, if I can <laughs> determine <laughs> which one is is vegetarian and which one's. Oh uh, boy. Right. That guy at the back there, he's been working very hard. He deserves a wee uh, pizza break now. I also want to shout out. See, they got three pizzas with meat, and that guy's a vegetarian. Yeah. What is going on at Paradox? How could they not know? I mean, yeah, haven't yeah, they been buying, said, ordering food and that for all the years they've been working? Did Martin just become a vegetarian like yesterday? Optics. It's all about optics. They asked uh, one Presbyterian what he thought. <laughs> I, I seriously, I can't, I can't make up any difference. Huh. Try just a pepperoni. I'll just try answer. one of them, and I think I can probably recognize so it. So you can just keep taking on dead, like dead economy real life, basically. So you can just do that. You can do that in the leak too if you just like build the correct stuff, raise your high amount of uh, money right for this. Wait, sorry, there was pizza drama going on. Is he, did he just take a bite of a pepperoni pizza? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. It looked like pepperoni. pepperoni. Right? Well, this is gonna be the big moment of this stream. Is instead of playing the game, we're just going. Oh boy. <laughs> True. <laughs> we're just going. Oh no, pizza. Which bit say is it? The self awareness is painful. This is going to be the big moment of the stream. Oh, it seems to me that the economy is much more like. It's a little bit like <sighs> less insane okay. than the leak because the leak had like a lot of I'm instability. Yeah. It seems like it's a lot more stable. Wasn't there three, wasn't there three pizzas? What's the other one underneath those two they've got yeah, on the screen? I right think now? that's majority. That's the stability. If the AI would buy all of your goods and just specifically to ruin you. Uh, Martin's yeah. body language regarding the pizza was pretty negative. I don't think he's happy. Uh, no, think so. How about this? No, I'm struggling to move on from the pizza yeah. thing. Can we well. get the body language it expert on be, this? Who is our dedicated uh, body language is expert? Too, actually. So they're, they're I don't know. Anyone in the waiting room right there? No? This is a scandal about. I was about to say. Yeah. 
a well, word that well, would describe a scandal for pizza, but isn't that something much worse that I've heard of before? But anyway, it's like the scandal of Paradox's pizza there, they just got rid of them. So we just unlocked central banking, and that is because it's fresh. This guy in the background so, eating all three pizzas by himself would be great content. That is better. Let's do that. You know somebody's gonna make oh, the, the, the highlights it was a pizza right now. I think he intentionally so ordered three meat pizzas like, so he could have all three of them to himself. Wait, sorry, you guys are vegetarians? Oh, sorry, I forgot. I ordered three oh, meat shit. pizzas, sorry. <laughs> That's actually based. I'm so sorry. And then he just sits there like that fat wrestler eating crisps for the whole stream. <laughs> He does seem like he's taking the piss. <laughs> yeah, he's eating the pizza well. He's eating it naturally. He's interjecting between bites. That's good. I don't believe this guy talked with his mouth, though. I think he was finished when he started talking. I think he's alright. Yeah, that's good. It didn't sound bad. Oh, is he going for another bit of pizza? Is he going for. Oh! Go on. Oh! Is that the one that Martin took a bite out of? Because that one already had a bite out of it, I think. Access the. This is cutting-edge pizza commentary like right here. Market. You don't get this anywhere else. Uh, it only can only buy and sell things locally. It's making me hungry looking at this. I think a good <laughs> election mm? needs a good war. Oh yeah, oh, that's always because we really? wanna. We're still looking to Yo. expand our source of iron. Based Sweden, we have all of these things. All forms of trading for iron is ultimately going to be dependent on other countries. I don't want to be too dependent on other countries. Mm. Let's get Brunei. Brunei, oh my um, god. Well, it's time for a diplomatic. Brunei, oh my god. Belgium, Belgium is right Brunei. there, my brothers in Christ. So, uh, yes. With iron. Uh, does Brunei have iron? I have no fucking idea. Does it, really... it does. It's... So they they, they check. Part, like, there was iron until I've I was too Brunei. busy looking at the pizza. Right. He's still eating pizza. Is it a new <laughs> slice? So, yeah. That's the same slice as just a moment right, ago. Fair enough. So, uh, we're going to just conquer it, yeah? Uh, well, first, before we hop into the war, let's look at the situation again. Because last time, they had okay. no friends. This right. might not be the same, and we also should... Let's see what allies Brunei has. has. What have they got? Region. They've got an alliance! Okay. Yellow flag! Sintan! Oh, no. yeah. It's over, yeah. Devlin's yeah. bros! They made alliances. Sintang has two, two yeah, battalions. Two battalions. <laughs> and I want to point out to chat there as well, when you have questions, it's better if you ask questions relevant to what's happening on the stream. Right? Like, yes. for example, it's very very hard right now to go check Mormons in the in the US while we're doing this. You know? Check those Don't Mormons! Your mouth no. full. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, shouldn't speak with a mouth full. Yeah. In the leak, uh, Dominions could join against you. Epic uh, fail. Yeah, Dominions can join against you. They haven't fixed that. It looks oh, like they haven't. Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh no, they're that's rebellious. not Oh no. Da, they are. Oh uh, my god. The, the absolute state. Tyrannical the they might actually break. end up throwing in their lot with uh, Borneo, like Brunei. Oh as dear, oh dear, oh dear. Independence. Yep. They should just uh, yep. do with the annex this diplomatic play against their puppet. Great. It should be the Dutch East Indies that gets Brunei anyway. Ultimately. Rebellious, it should be them that gets yeah. the land. Take more autonomy from them. Did I see right when it looked like they had a way bigger army than we do? Yes, but uh, let's not focus on the problems. Right <laughs> <laughs> Here is famous footballer, French international oh, football player, Paul Pogba. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Be getting but just yes. to clarify if there's new viewers, so the hot code that's being name dropped here is means that yes. the code, the game is, is a development code. It's not, uh, there might be bugs. It's yes. uh, not release worthy code. I, well, I'm the one who was horrible and paused here because yeah. I kind of want to... Yep. Take a moment to they are asking people to pre-order this game right now, by the way. Play. It's just going to be bug fixes, and if they can't yeah, fix all the bugs on time... So Paradox has a track record of releasing uh, games and DLC in this current state. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. And they have, and, a, know, they have a release date, they're going to release it on that date. You'd think that they would like be able to finish it before October, but they might not be. Anyway, they're doing war stuff, we have to listen and see what they're saying and see what's going on here. He mobilizes Indonesian HQ. It's going to take him time to mobilize based on infrastructure. So interesting. Britain is tr trading ammunition to us. That uh, means we could activate skirmish infantry. Oh my god, they really need to have skirmish infantry yes, against Brunei. We unlocked that a little while ago. Are they going to redo their stacks? Oh, They're yeah. doing the naval right. landing. Okay, Those are the three so buttons. The Four buttons yeah. for navy, three buttons for army. You just Speaking, saw them. Can you release countries for army? Yes. yes. Release subjects. 
Uh, well, that's a really good country. Yeah, we don't have a lot of countries to read. <laughs> are we, are we <laughs> playing D.O.D.? Diana. Sorry. We're going to play Diana. <laughs> Amazonia. Okay. Oh my god, this yes. is intense. I'm a little surprised they didn't back oh down, god. but they're also less That's a new animation. An that's a new animation, yeah. Where they will Fire. To exist, uh, yeah, there wasn't yeah. anything yeah. before. I it was just like the, the sound and then... Yeah, it's listening to the naval invasion. Hopefully they Navy? Oh. What's he doing? Uh, naval invasion is what we're going to do. We're gonna naval invade North Borneo. So we actually naval invade a state. He doesn't know how to do it. We are and it <laughs> oh, I think he started it now. He's lost. So, so that's it. He's clicked two buttons, and that is, is the war. On route, they can go back to managing the their factories now. Like they can look at their political events. Look. They have, oh God, they're fighting a war oh. and they can now look at their political events. That's what the game was intended to be. Yeah. <laughs> Very epic. This is war. I think. That you know, these, Victor, you, the you see these events and you just click them randomly when you're in the middle of a war. And this you're just like, oh, let me think about this. I mean, to be fair, in single player, you could do that in Victor as well. Sense to me. Just guess. Yeah, they're not pausing the game, they're just running it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They put the free yeah. trade party in power. Exactly, so. exactly. Oh, there it oh is. my god, oh, that's the war. Yeah, Holy actually, shit. Actually they're not even clicking so the battle. Like half their fucking country in one day. They're, they're not even looking at the like battle. Political parties. There's this big invasion going on in the country. Oh, Anyways, nice, nice political go. parties. We have a front. <laughs> we have no protectionism. Are currently fighting. Mm, battle. We are that's the battle. Cut the front. Oh. They're taking really yeah, bad casualties. It really in this particular but case. we're outnumbering him by I mean, five. They're taking two to one. Yeah. I'm blown away by this war. Yeah. Look, I'm pre ordering the game on the spot. Uh, <laughs> he is a bit past his prime. <laughs> Very pog chair. You know, <laughs> yes. but look at him. He's in the, and he, all, he's all they're doing, in this they're prime. spending the whole war just making fun of how old to, someone is. You know, he's struggling with, with, <laughs> with command. Uh, that's it, they won the battle. We're good, we're good. They captured we're 10 good. provinces, look. We won the battle. Yeah, exactly. That's insane. What I'm more confused uh, is, the naval invasion like, seems yeah. like it happened it's without a battle. No like, if there is no yeah. patrolling. Yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah. something yeah. as well. In the league, you basically yeah. start naval invasions more or less without a battle. And you can't, like, you those can't garrison your troops on the coast, because well there's nothing, like, there's no coast defense. Right, the only way to stop a naval invasion is by fleet, not by army. That also by react. I mean, you have to. You can't like. Defense. You have, have to react immediately. You have to react to it. You can't just like. How will this war impact the price of tools? Ah. Vegetarian pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah sure. I would like some food actually. Yeah. yeah. I mean, basically, you see a little bit of everything may, now. They are, wow. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. exhaustion. So, so like when you reach a uh, minus, I think two hundred yes. or uh, something, you auto peace out. There's no like peace oh. screen. You can see how they're full sneaked down, but but the war's not over. Uh, it's because you have to wait for them to reach one minus one hundred. Okay. And there we go. There there we, we have North Borneo, and Borneo. Uh, and 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 uh, our election was over at the exact same time. Oh, that's perfect! Free trade party, victory day, and Wonder election day. And that's it, and, and then they go away. That's it for a break. So, they showed pretty much exactly what they talked about in Dave Diaries. And Stellaris too. It looks Flat. like the exact same as the leak, but with a few bug fixes and a like slightly different UI. There's a few new things, but not much. Yeah, let's just have a wee chat about what we've seen, and then I'll call my stream soon. I think naval invasions actually are an improvement technically, because in the league you can always do it in, in a strategic region. But it seems like you can do it with states now, which is a bit better. But because they have no system to actually like defend against naval invasions, <laughs> like imagine if they had like a fourth bot called uh, Guard Coast. Like in Hoi 4, it would have actually been decent, but... They just took a fleet that was already there and just set it to naval invasion and clicked a button. They... That war consisted of two clicks. That was their war. That's all their interaction in the war. Yeah. That's they the clicked on the issue. Admiral and they clicked naval invade Borneo. And then it automated itself. We knew that was going to yeah. be the case, but we just... Seeing it for the first time, played by the devs... You still have to take that in. Economic stuff, so they've really highlighted how the economic stuff was going to be a huge part of the game and you have to manage it more actively. What did they do in that stream? They built a bit of um, construction capacity, um, a couple of little factories, maybe a port in Africa, a port in the east, some tools. I mean, and that's it. They what, yeah. And some trade deals for iron with Sweden. Like, it seemed very samey with the leak build. And the thing is, in a leak build, it's basically the same we do no matter which country you play. But like you could play China, it's the same thing. You play Russia, it's the same thing with the buildings, right? Which is kind of disappointing. You, you just like, get you know, um, construction capacity and then build some buildings. Construction capacity first, basically, right? Every yes, time. Yeah, first yeah and it's most money. efficient. And, and if you like any goods, then you either build the buildings yourself, like if you like iron, you either build the iron mines or you import them 
on Sega that Iron Man's up, um, like basically what they I did. I need to respond to what someone said. Yeah. Someone said, uh, disagree with argument that economics isn't engaging. Think about most Vicky 2 nations. Early game economy is just setting taxes and watching the map for a few years. This is a big improvement. Well, you see, the thing about Victoria 3 is they've gotten rid of the war in favour of the other stuff. Victoria 2 has the war as well. So they're not getting rid of something to emphasise the economy in Victoria 2. They're saying that the economy is going to be more engaging in Vic 3. And was it? Maybe a little bit? They built some buildings? I don't know. To be honest, like when I, when I saw war was being removed, I had pretty high expectations for how the economy would be. I was like, oh my god, they're going to remove war. They, like The economy better be fucking revolutionary, right? And it's just not good enough. For a moving war in my opinion so you set up the trade routes for a good and then it grows to the appropriate size oh, based, okay, based okay. on the price well, that's good I didn't that see is that. too I much to that. manage yeah, it's not as if a large amount of management is bad it's, that's is really tedious to constantly slightly increase and decrease the amount of goods you're taking from a country based on your need you can't manage that for everything all the time so considering good. the eye also does it and he out clicks you the eye always out clicks <laughs> yeah i think economy is like fine i think they missed an opportunity by making everything centrally controlled by the player I think it'll be interesting to have like a layered system where like AI controls some things, you can intervene in them to fix it, but you get some bonuses in return. Like Vic 2 less if fair interventions, but actually good. It's funny that there's already a DLC planned before the game's even there always is. You get to get this yeah. DLC mystery box for free. It's a loot box for DLC. Yeah. I think you, I think I think the most uh, expensive option for TQ3 offer is first three or two DLCs. This one also offers right. one. So less value. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the politics is actually where the game is kind of decent. So it's they did of... show some politics, just a little bit. I mean, yeah, but they didn't do anything with but it. But they didn't do a civil war, they didn't fucking pass a law or whatever. There was the Ashkenazi education incident. <laughs> uh, the, yeah. Yeah, they they are going to do politics after the break, they just had an election. Yeah. I guess I have to watch the VOD later and see. Well, if anyone wants to, if in. anyone's itching to know what they do politically after this uh, the break, you just go and watch their stream because yeah. I am gonna yeah. maybe have pizza, but I'm not gonna eat it yeah. on stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paradox doesn't want you to know this, but you can get Victory for free. I have 50 copies of it. You stole 50 <laughs> copies. Those 50 yeah. copies are copies that Paradox no 50, longer has. 50 uh, digital copies. Paradox used to have those 50 copies, now they don't have them. It was real property stolen. Mm -hmm. Also, the culture map mode was abysmal. Yeah, it just yeah. shows like the main one and only the main Even one. Even Victoria 2's wasn't that detailed because what you had was the majority culture, or the two biggest cultures. That's right, if the yeah. second biggest culture is over like 30%, it shows it in lines. It just looks so much better than Vic 3's one. Vic 3's culture map mode being just like homogenous blobs everywhere that's just terrible i don't know if you can click on the culture and it will show even in minority provinces where that culture is situated well that's, that's uh, the thing. It, you can't do that because every pop is state-based now state -based. No, like, oh. victoria 3 is adding way more provinces to the game oh they're making everything state-based ah never mind they literally made like ten thousand provinces but they're not used for anything it's like, like warfare which you can't control anyway it's so weird. Oh, they're not named either. It's not that yeah, difficult. It's just a lot of legwork to name a load of provinces, but it's not as if it's yeah. complicated to do. They're not used for anything. Yeah, so exactly. Them, right? <laughs> but even then, yeah, that's even if they weren't used for anything, but they were still named, it gives people some geographic interest. When I first played Victoria 2, I was a lot younger. It did provide looking around at the countries, looking at how the map, the world looked in 1836 was interesting. Looking at province names, it's just some geographic interest. Go and see what the names of places are in the world. Yeah, yeah. it is interesting. The famous issue is you're not able to join wars mid-war. So like once the war starts, that's it. Like this, the war goals and uh, part of people in the war cannot be changed. World War One was just that. Austria versus Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, after the fighting already started, maybe Britain didn't join. They had their own Belgium for that, but Italy definitely wonder... didn't join. Even the Ottomans took a few more months, actually. The Ottomans wouldn't join. And that's also the whole fact that you can't add war goals. So, like, let's say, like, basically, you would need to add the entire Brest-Litov Treaty into the war before it even started. Yeah, like, it's... <laughs> well, that was them playing Victoria 3. I mean, look, their stream, it was good. Those three guys were having fun and having banter and playing the game and eating pizza. They're doing their thing. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. See you, man. Have a Bye. good one. Bye. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.